Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week on YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, I want to talk about something that I actually had a conversation with my best friend about last year sometime when we were going to film for our podcast called Validate Me. The link will be in my bio my bio i'm so used to saying that on instagram the link will be in the description box below if you want to watch and check out our podcast but i had a conversation with her about this topic when i was kind of going through some things and i needed a bit of advice and we talked about the fact that like there doesn't need to be a negative or toxic reason to leave a relationship the relationship could be incredible, there could be so many amazing things about it, but it could just not feel 100% right or aligned. And that is still okay to leave. Like the idea that somebody has to treat you completely horrifically for you to be able to then end the relationship is so ridiculous because they could treat you amazingly, but if you don't feel it, if it doesn't feel 100%, maybe like there could be a million reasons why it doesn't feel 100 percent. but if there's just some kind of thing that makes you want to end it and not feel like it's the right one for you it doesn't have to be the most horrific awful reasons and i think this comes from us setting the bar ridiculously low if you watched one of my previous videos talking about why you need to have a standard like I think the bar has been set so low for so long, not just for women, but for men too. We have set the bar ridiculously low to where we feel like the only valid reason to actually end something is if cheating happens or if there's abuse or just something really disgusting and awful. Like, why does it need to be so horrific before we walk away? Why can't it just be that it just doesn't feel right it doesn't feel aligned you know there's many many reasons why things don't feel aligned maybe you don't share the same beliefs maybe you want different things maybe one person wants kids and the other doesn't like there could be small reasons but that they just feel right within you and if you're very in tune with your intuition and your emotions like you can walk in a room and meet a complete stranger and it feel off but you don't even know why you know like you don't even know them to even know why it feels off but if we were to trust that you just wouldn't even interact with them or even take the time to get to know them because you already have been pre-warned by your energetic field like by your body by your emotions it's already warned you that that person is not in alignment with you and it's not a good idea to even approach them you know and if we took the same approach in our romantic relationships to where we feel that something doesn't feel right and instead of questioning it instead that word did not come out right instead of questioning it <laughs> i don't know why i can't say that word today um instead of like needing proof and needing that to be validated if we just trust our feelings our intuition and what it's telling us we would probably save ourselves so much heartache and so much stress so much confusion because our, our emotional body and our soul like our hearts it already knows the um path that you need to take and it already knows the kind of connections that you're going to take and that you need so it will instantly tell you when something is not right for you and not the direction that you should be taking but oftentimes we wait for it to be horrific and like fully blow up in our face before we'll actually listen <laughs> when we could have listened to that months back the first time something fell off because somebody said something that didn't quite sit right with you if you just listen to how that felt instantly in that moment then you wouldn't need to go down the path of of needing that feeling to constantly be validated by more and more experiences that trigger that same feeling of like something doesn't feel right here you know like why does it take something really awful for us to get it and see it and believe it you know so i just thought i would share this little um what do i call it like perception this little thought about this kind of thing because i've definitely done this myself where things have felt off and i've just ignored it and carried on going and carried on going and it's blown up in my face a thousand times over and if we had just listened before we wouldn't have to deal with that you know 
And also somebody could be an incredible person. Like it doesn't mean that they're a bad person or that something negative will happen if you be with them. But what I mean is like, there doesn't need to be this huge reason as to why you don't want to be somebody. It could just be that you're not into them. You don't see them in that way. Maybe you're not attracted to them. Maybe you just like you just don't want to be with them in that way and that is fine and we need to be okay with rejection and okay with telling people that it's just a no and we don't have to explain ourselves or give this like long drawn out reason or this like real negative reason as to why we don't want to be with them maybe we just don't because we just don't you know and there doesn't have to be a, like a brutal reason or something extremely negative as to why we don't be them be as to why we don't want to be with them you know so yeah i think we kind of need to restructure the way we think about these things because it's definitely something where you can get yourself in toxic cycles and situations if we don't listen to our intuition and trust what we hear and follow through with what we hear so yes that is it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope it was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and check out the description box below for all links to my social media my music my merch my phone number and so so much more because i do send daily inspirational spiritual thoughts via text and whatsapp so definitely check out the description box below and i will see you in the next video bye Oh, yeah, I think he like me Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea Oh, yeah, I think he like me Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea Oh, yeah, I think he might I'm the thing he like in my range, all white Oh, yeah, I think he might I'm the thing he like in my range, all white